Okay guys, real, real quick, I want to talk to you guys today about why you should be eating garlic. Some real money patience, okay if you run away, straight up at me, just be playing tight. I don't wanna waste it, risk it all, I don't know what's safe at. Baby, I'm traumatized, now I know what torment's like, if not you would choose the mind, or you don't forget my pride. Up in the hills, up in the hills, up in the hills, Benjamin Bills, can't buy love for real, love for real. Okay guys, we're... Real quick, I want to talk to you guys today about why you should be eating garlic. Garlic is highly beneficial for those who suffer from an itis. Epididymitis, diverticulitis. Anything that has an itis attached to the name is inflammation. Do you understand? You are not suffering from some bizarre disease. I see all the time people are like, oh... I'm going to have to uh, do surgery on myself. Because let me tell you something. When you go to the doctor, they're going to, oh, I'm going to pump you up with a whole bunch of antibiotics. And a lot of times those antibiotics don't work. I see people are, I antibiotics after antibiotics after antibiotics. I was there. All it did was just blow up my prostate. I mentioned this in the book. If you want to go through all uh, the details of everything that I went through on my journey to freedom, because that's exactly what it is, when you are free from that monster, which is diverticulitis and epididymitis, go check out the book. I became free and you can become free too. Listen, everything with an itis is in mission. And this is why I ate one bulb of garlic a day. Well, maybe not every day, but I ate a lot of it. And you need to add this to your diet. Why? Because garlic has sulfur. The human body contains a lot of sulfur. There is sulfur in your proteins, in your vitamins, and other elements in the body. And sulfur plays an important role in many process, processes required for life to exist. Sulfur combats swelling, pain, and inflammation. Oh, yes, I get it now. Everything that goes into my mouth has to be anti-inflammatory. Do you understand? Everything that goes into your mouth needs to be anti-inflammatory. And everything that's inflammatory needs to come out. That goes alcohol, cigarettes, artificial sweeteners, artificial sugar, too much sugar is inflammatory. Beers, all these things are inflammatory. So when you are trying to get rid of an itis, which diverticulitis and epididymitis is, you need to be going to war. You need to declare war on inflammation. You are at war. That's the, the mindset you need to have when you are trying to get rid of an itis. Remember what I say. Sulfur combats swelling, pain, and inflammation associated with various disorders. It is a magnificent natural healer given to us by the almighty creator given to us by mother earth a lot of things in the body require sulfur including your metabolism sulfur is the third most abundant mineral in your body 
It is even critical for metabolizing sugar and fighting diabetes. Garlic also fights infection. It is considered an antibiotic. It is a natural antibiotic. You do not have to go to a doctor to, and they will give you some artificial medicine that's just going to kill your gut, kill your body, when you can go to Mother Earth and she will give you what you need. Garlic fights infection. If the stuff the doctor is not working, stop doing it because it's not going to work for you. They are, let me tell you what the doctor did for me. Antibiotics. The pain will go and come. Come, it will go and come. Eventually, it just, I just came to the conclusion, this is not going to work for me. Especially after it blew up my prostate. They're not going to tell you that antibiotics messes up your organs. You cannot take it for too long. It will destroy you inside. And then the second thing there was like, well, these antibiotics are not working. You might need to consider surgery. Do you have kids? Do you plan on having kids? That is something you need to take in consideration because if these antibiotics are not going to work, we're just going to pull the epidemic tubes out of your body. That's what they do. But I was not going to fall for it. I decided to go a natural route. And the information that I learned on my journey is what I'm giving to you guys. So sulfur combat swelling, pain, and inflammation. Garlic fights infection. The medicinal properties of garlic are due to its allicin content. This chemical is what gives garlic a strong smell. Humans are protected from bacterial, parasitic, viral, and bacterial infections from this chemical, this compound. Raw garlic provides the greatest therapeutic benefits. Stop with these powders. When you go with the extract, it's only good for a certain amount of herbs. Not all of them are good extracts. When it comes to garlic, you need to eat the bulb. It's cheaper anyway. These things are like 25 cents a bulb. Go to Walmart or your nearest grocery store. Get you some garlic and eat it. There have been over 4,525 studies that show garlic can treat more than 150 chronic illnesses. Garlic has also been praised by the National Cancer Institute in 1990 for its ability to protect against cancer. Since then, several studies have demonstrated that allicin and other active compounds in garlic may shield against certain cancers and prevent cancer cells from spreading. And this is why I tell you guys all the time, when you go to Mother Earth for healing, you can take garlic, for example, to heal your epididymitis and your diverticulitis, but it also helps prevent other things. When you go to the doctor and say, I need healing, from epididymitis and diverticulitis, they're going to give you antibiotics that only do one thing. And that is to kill bacteria. That's it. However, you get garlic, it does a whole array of things inside your body. This is overall healing that we are doing. We are healing everything. On my journey, I was going through so much stomach pain. It was like, 
It was almost like a demon was taking energy away from me. But once I started, I got overall a whole body healing experience. Garlic is good for many different cancers, breast, colon, liver, head, neck, ovaries, pancreas, prostate, and skin. So remember, if you study, if you suffer from an itis, men, men, remember, there is many different itises. If you don't suffer from epididymitis or diverticulitis, and you suffer from tendonitis, which is inflammation in your tendons, you still can take garlic and it will help you. Anything with an itis is inflammation. Pancreatitis, inflammation in your pancreas, prostatitis, inflammation in your prostate, arthritis, inflammation, gingivitis, inflammation. You are fighting inflammation. So everything that fights inflammation goes into your mouth. And everything that causes inflammation stays out. So those of you who are suffering from the epididymitis, diverticulitis, garlic, add it to your regimen. Liposomal vitamin C, the herbs, the book. Add it to your regimen. You guys cannot just sit there and say, I am just going to take liposomal vitamin C and some sea moss. And that's that. No, sir. You have to put in the work. If you want to get over disease, you have to suffer. That's why they always say prevention is better than the cure. When you are already sick, you have to suffer in order to get over the sickness. You have to fast. You have to starve yourself. You have to eat the right foods. So if you grew up eating hamburgers and all this bad food, you have to suffer in order to get your stuff right. You have to break bad habits. If you have a sweet tooth, you have to cut it out. Sweet tooth will destroy you. It would cause more inflammation. It would feed cancer cells. It will do everything opposite of what garlic would do for you. Prevention is better then the cure. If you are healthy, you can eat whatever you want. When you are sick, you have to suffer. That is the only way you're going to get over disease. I mentioned this in the book. When I took so much antibiotics and it blew up my prostate. I thought I needed to pull my prostate out. But no, 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 no. I'm your guinea pig. I did things on myself. And now I'm able to teach you guys so y'all can learn from my mistakes. The antibiotics will destroy your prostate. The only thing that got my prostate back was starving myself, not eating for over 48 hours at a time. But I mentioned all this in the book. Y'all go get the book. And I'm going to do more videos. But I want to tell y'all this today in this video Garlic, add it to your regimen. Eat more of it. It can only add positivity to you. It's only a benefit to you. 
eat more garlic. Yeah, that's enough.